One of the nice things about Salem Press Online is that we purchase print material from Salem Press, the publisher, and they provide us with free access to the online version of that source. If you scroll down in Salem Press, you'll see we have a number of different categories, but on the far left side, there's a whole lot of resources dedicated to literature. We start with some critical insights uh, related to authors, and you'll see the list of authors we have below that. Arthur Miller, Zora Neale Hurston, Ernest Hemingway, etc. If you see the critical insights themes category, that will be a little bit broader in nature, like Harlem Renaissance, issues about dystopia, civil rights literature, etc. And then down below, we have critical works, uh, things like uh, Huckleberry Finn, Beloved, Macbeth. These are um, novels or plays that have been the focus of uh, coursework in uh, our curriculum. So that's why we've purchased those. And then we get to retain the copy of that. So The Great Gatsby's covered, Catching the Rye, Grapes of Wrath, etc. We also have some critical surveys. Now these are longer uh, multi-set volumes dedicated to things like drama. We have critical survey of graphic novels, long fiction, short fiction, various mythology, Shakespeare, etc. So these are multi-volume sets and we have access to all that material online as well. You can access this or search it in two different ways. You know that you have a particular author that is represented here. So if we were to go into, let's say, the uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald category, we could click on that result and it will take us to the table of contents for that particular book. Each of these hyperlinked titles here is a link to an essay within that Critical Insights book. So you can do it that way. If you're interested in Tenders the Night, you can click on this American Riviera style and expatriation in the novel, and that will take you to an essay long uh, analysis of that particular topic within Fitzgerald's work. If you'll notice down at the very bottom, it's a lengthy essay here. You have additional sources, and you should have a couple of different options for citing this uh, in MLA, or APA, or Chicago style. The other way to search within this resource is to go to the search area, or again, on your original page, you can enter in a search term, like uh, let's do Ernest Hemingway. And we'll do that search. It will search not only the literature, but all the different areas across the resources. The most likely results will come from the literature, but you may also see things like this 1950s in America set, which is a historical encyclopedia that happens to have an entry on Ernest Hemingway. This way you've narrowed your results um, to an author, but you've not just limited it to one source with, that you've clicked on. You've searched multiple entries across different uh, sources we have available. So let's take a look at the Critical Survey of Long Fiction, the fourth edition that will cover his novels. Two results down, you have the Short Fiction uh, Critical Survey, which will cover his short stories. And just like with the Fitzgerald results, when you click on it, it'll take you into this particular entry within the Critical Survey of Long Fiction. This was written by Brian Mangum. And as you go through, you'll see biography, analysis, a couple of different uh, novels mentioned. And again, down at the bottom, you'll have citations and then your citation formats. In most of these, uh, all of these results that I've come across so far, you should be able to save the article, print or email them. And that's how you can best navigate around the Salem Press for literature. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact a librarian. We're always happy to help.